What do you do on a Monday night? That's right. Good evening, Facebook friends, fans. You know, I'll post this up on YouTube too. So shout out to the YouTube people too. Anyway, guys, uh, streaming live. It's Monday night. I'm not podcasting for once because... I just need to get stuff off my to-do list. So hope you guys are doing well uh, during the uh, the BS of COVID and all the other horse shit out there in the online space and everywhere else, politics, all that crap. Uh, I don't care because I've been too busy living my life to the fullest. And right now, I just want to share the fact that I'm editing my book. I'm not just editing my book. Um, I'm at least done with my editing of the book. Uh, we were skiing the other week in Colorado. So on the flight to Colorado and the flight home from Colorado, I'm sitting here doing this in the plane, all masked up. Uh, I can't order beverages, aka alcohol, in the plane, you know, because that's apparently against COVID. So I just sit there and just do this while I'm squeezed between two other dipshits on a plane who don't know how to share. And doing this on my laptop like this, it was great. Anyway, that being said, I was like, "That's it." When I get home, I am finishing this damn book. So, uh, actually, no, I'll screen share real quick for y'all. Anyway, so so sure enough, uh, for the past oh god, three four hours, I've been in my word document uh going through the chapters and finally finishing so you want to be a hot shot obviously this is not the final draft of the book i now have to hand this back off to shout out to hillary jastrom my book editor uh she already did a i wrote it then she goes her once through of the edit and now i have to do my once through of the edit and make it grammatically correct to uh the firefighting speak of my old days of wild and firefighting uh go through it all and then obviously send it back to her to do whatever it is she does best that I pay her to do, which is the final book editing. I, I, I'm stoked. And actually to further prove to you guys that we're pretty far along here, I'll do a monitor share because I got multiple monitors here. Uh, we've actually also already finished the book cover. That's right. Stoked about that too. So you want to be a hot shot. Uh, so that book is ready to rock as far as the cover goes. And here's a cool little 3D image of it. Got the front and back. So I'm totally excited. So guys, I will be self-publishing my first ever book on Amazon and elsewhere. That's uh, you know, one thing at a time. Like, here you go. This is a screenshot into my, my Trello project management system. This is how anal I am about organizing. I have tracking every chapter progression, completion, et cetera. Actually, hold on. Let me, oh, there it goes. Check off. Boom. Final chapter. My thoughts about Hot Shots 19 and the Grand Amount Hot Shots. May they rest in peace. So again, guys, book chapter editing is complete. Uh, on my end, I'm literally sending the email as soon as I'm off the live feed with you guys to send it to Hillary and say, Hillary, I'm done having you crack the whip on me. It's only taken me a year and a half to almost two years to get this far. Like, Apparently, writing a book is not that hard, guys. So if you guys want to like set new goals in life here in 2021, <laughs> write a book. That wasn't the hard part. It was me following up and actually going through and rereading and editing and then working with the book covers and yada, yada, yada. No joke. Shout out to any and all authors out there who do this on a regular basis. I love you guys. Um, this is crazy. I don't think I'm going to do another book after this, but I can't say never. So that being said, uh, my side of it's done. I'm handing it off. So that, thank you for watching or whatever you'd care to do with my videos when I post them. Thank you for supporting the Live the Fuel podcast. Thank you for supporting my nonprofit foundation, Fuel Foundations, which 100% of this book will be benefiting. That's right. I am not trying to make money off of my own book, which to be fair, what I've learned from other authors is you don't make a lot of money on your books. So there, there's something else fun. So if you want to set new goals, uh, kill yourself for two years writing a book, kill yourself month after month when you haven't finished editing the book, uh, get get verbally slapped by your awesome book editor again, Hillary. Hillary for not finishing editing your book, then knowing that you're not going to make any money with your book, <laughs> potentially. Um, especially when somebody like me, I'm trying to give back with. I want to raise money with the money's going to go into fuel foundations, and then we're going to give back to fallen firefighters because I only served for two years, but it left a lasting impact in my life. But obviously, I hope uh, you know my brand and and my public speaking engagements and stuff grow from this. That's how maybe I'll make some of the money back. But the money I've spent on editing and hiring an editor and paying a designer to do the book cover. And then apparently there's a next step where I'm going to get some kind of digitization, blah, blah, blah. There's a bunch of other stuff that's going to cost me money. Uh, and then I still got to self-publish it on Amazon. And then hopefully you all choose to support me and my initiative to give back to the firefighting community through the publishing of this book. So stay tuned. 
And uh, thanks for hanging with me at 10.17 p.m. Eastern. Uh, thank you for letting me rant. Uh, stay tuned. The book is coming. So you want to be a hot shot. Later on, guys. Have a great night.